San Diego, some call it America's finest city. It is certainly more than just a surfer's paradise, and in the meantime has come to be known as one of the world's leading centers in the telecommunications and biotechnology industries. Hello, I'm Rick Sandstrom. I'm a laser physicist and a co-founder of SIMER here in San Diego. Hello, I am William Partlow and I am head of laser development. The SIMER company in the U.S. has always been a leader in the field of lasers for modern microlithography. Richard Sandstrom and Bill Partlow are the people behind this trailblazing innovation. This is, this is, this is definitely our baby. The reason why uh, this laser ex exists is because it's required to produce a very specialized uh, form of ultraviolet radiation that's used uh, for photolithography. There are very uh, special specifications on the uh, spectral bandwidth, the power level, the uh, nature of the beam, and so on. All the beam parameters uh, are tightly specified for the output of this laser. The light is, is uh, fed down here through the amplifier twice, one way and then the other. And then it goes out some additional metrology to further analyze the quality of the light. And then it exits the laser here. And that's where the light goes on to the lithography tool. And that's used to make uh, integrated circuits. Almost all highly developed integrated circuits are manufactured using the light from these lasers. You need this in almost all of the products, as Rick mentioned, almost all of the products that you use in your daily life, your cell phone, your iPod, your digital camera, the laptop computer I'm sure that you came over here with. These are all not possible without the photolithography or the chip manufacturing that is enabled by the use of, of the Simer Exmer lasers. Rick and Bill, two ingenious minds who couldn't be less alike. What kind of guy is, is Bill Carlo? He's, he's incredibly intelligent and incredibly uh, energetic. Rick is an extremely patient individual. He is the spark plug of the technical community here at, at Simer. He is an immensely practical individual combined with the ability to have a very deep understanding of physics and science. Is he blushing over there yet? Yeah, that's quite a testimonial. Am I dead? <laughs> no, he's not crazy at all. He's not, I'm sorry, Rick Sandstrom is a very boring guy. Bill sentimental. I think he is in some ways. Not crazy, no, no. Dreamer. <laughs> This is an example of the finished, uh, near finished product. Uh, this is a wafer that contains many identical circuits of, in this case, probably some NAND flash memory. And uh, this was produced uh, in, in part by using light from our laser. Uh, and uh, of course, there is a, uh, a very uh, high technology uh, machine in between our laser and this wafer called lithography machine. The laser itself is simply the light bulb for the process. His was the enormous first step that I don't think I could have ever done. No, I'm serious. It's, it's a blank sheet of paper is very intimidating. What Rick provided to the rest of us is a paper filled with a drawing that we get to modify slightly. That's much easier for normal people to do. <laughs> I'm going to nominate you for president. <laughs>